Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today I'm gonna teach you and show you how to make your reverb sound professional like this. You've added a smile on my face. You've taken away all my shame. And now my life is not the same. same. It's not about me, but your name. I can boast every day, telling everybody that Jesus is the only way. I'm walking in the fire, fire, I'm walking in his power, I'm walking in his hour. Oh. Jesus is my tower. tower, he can never fail me, he can never fail me, fail me. I'm serving a strong God, drunk. Yeah, just like that. So what did I do? Let's go ahead and go to this vocal is connected to. So connect your vocal to an EFX. Of course, check out the video that I did on that, how to do that in FL Studio 20 or any uh, FL Studio that you have. So that vocal you sit play right here. You've added a smile on my face. My face. Uh, this is what you do. Come to your FX slot one and come to your plugins. Pick up Fruity Reverb 2 right from here. Once you've pick it, uh, picked it up, you've loaded it uh, in your slot. Open it up and this is how you set it up. First, your high cut. All right. Your high cut has to be set on off. Put it on off just put it on off your low cut has to be on 16 1600 hertz put it on set it up on 1600 hertz your diffusion set it on 32 this one right here put it on 32 and your size put it on 17 this is gonna work for all type of vocals your delay just put it on 0.0, .0 zero unless if you want some delays to your vocal then you can like but if you want that professional sound just drop it down put it on zero zero if you want delay you can use delay plugins then your speed set it up on mode speed has to be on 30 percent put it on 30 percent your mode depth the depth of your mode these two the depth of your mode just put it on zero percent then turn on tempo all right just turn it on put uh on the mid not on the side but put the input on mid and then your bears set it bears uh multiplier has to be on 300 percent this one right here 300 percent which is maximum of course put your cross to 25 hertz just put it on 25 then your damp level has to be your high damping has to be on 1.3 kilohertz put it on 1.3 kilohertz all right then your decay time has to be on 1.8 seconds this is going to work all the time your dry has to be dry level has to be 43 percent just put it on uh, 43 percent if you want more you can still uh, i'll show you how you can like increase the reverb 43 percent dry level and then your early reflection level just drop it down completely like put it on zero percent your separation just don't separate put it on the middle or just set it up on zero percent as well your weight level has to be on 70 just give it 70 percent of uh your reverb weight level and this shape will be there immediately you see this shape just know that you have set it up in the correct way now this is where you increase your reverb as you can see i reduced it just a little bit my volume is around 95 percent, so i put it on 95 percent. but of course if you if let's say you want more you can like take it higher but for me i can i i i, I set it up on 90 95 95 is all right for this focus so it depends on how much you want the reverb to sound how how more of the reverb you want to your vocal so guys this is how you professionally set up uh fruity reverb too and this is just gonna sound professional you've added a smile on my face my face you've taken away all my shame, shame. i know my life is not the same same it's not about me but your name i hope this video has, has helped you don't forget to subscribe and uh share like i'll see you in the next one